Hey everyone, this is Leon. First off, I would like to say thanks to everyone supported this channel and people who purchased template on my Etsy store. It really helps me in terms of life improvement and keep making video tutorial. So this time, I'll be making this sword. This is Akari and she's the official mascot of our event Otakun 2023. I'm making sword not only for the event but also in conjunction with the prop making competition. For more information about this event, kindly visit us at otakun.9. Now back to the build. First is to get the template ready. I'll leave the template in the description below and it's free to download. I first prepare two sets of the template, so I can cut smaller details on one and keep the other one for bigger reference. First thing is to cut out the middle gap. This will be used for slotting the aluminum support. Then I cut off this blade part. After that, make 3 copies on 1cm EVA foam. And only one will need to remove the middle gap. I flip both ends attached so it can maintain the shape. Next is to apply contact adhesive onto the foam except the middle gap. The contact adhesive has to apply on both sides. Let it dry for few minutes before you can stick them on. Next, I use few pieces of art card to cover the bottom to help with the sticking process. This can avoid sticking unwanted parts by accidents and cause a lot of messes. After the sticking them, then I remove the middle gap form. Next, I use 1cm aluminum tube as a support and cut it at about this length. I use a pipe cutter to cut it but the hacksaw will work as well. After that, I use contact adhesive on the aluminum tube to stick it onto the foam and cover it out with another piece of foam. Next, I remove this flat edge reference and trace it onto the sword. It will be used for sending reference line and will be sanded down with a rotary tool afterwards. After that, I proceed to do the top edges. This part is pretty simple because I use paper grout to design the template so it will be pretty accurate. I use 70 degree 4mm foam for the edges so it will be hard enough to withstand damage and to prevent it from deforming. I first attach the front tip together, cut a V groove at the tip, and then stick a wooden skewer onto it. After that, I cut a few straps of EVA foam, stick at the end of the skewer, and make sure it can slot into the aluminum tube. Next, I remove the foam at the middle, slot in the skewer, and glue the blade onto the sword. To enhance more strength to the skewer, I also add a few support at the top and the bottom of the skewer to prevent the skewer from breaking. After that, I just seal all both sides of the blade and attach the remaining part. Next, I proceed to do these details, and initially I wanted to use foam to make it, but I remember that I do have a 3D printer, and I should really utilize it. So I model these parts in Blender and have them printed out. But for this part, I still use foam because it's easy to make. Just cut out accordingly on 4mm foam, and sand down the edges, and there is it. Next, proceed to do this part. First, dress it onto the sword, then cut two pieces out on 3mm foam. Apply contact adhesive on both sides, and stick them on. Now let's move to this part. 4mm foam will be good for this part. Just cut two pieces of this out, mark the sanding line, and sand it down afterwards. After that, I use 3mm foam for this part, but I changed it to 4mm after I realized it was too thin. After that, just stick it onto the foam with contact adhesive. Next, move on to these details. It is pretty simple, just have to trace the template onto the foam, and do slanted cut from the back. This will give a good dimensions to the detail. Then I stack 3mm and 4mm foam because I don't have 7mm foam, and this will be used for the sword guard. After attaching them, then the guard will be sanding down to ground off the edges. After that, proceed to this part. I first use 4mm foam for the best to match the other best, and you probably noticed that I did some extra work here to match the elevations. That's because I wasn't sure about the thickness at that moment. But now I believe you will get the idea. Anyway, let's proceed to the build with this part on 4mm foam. And 5mm for this part. After sanding and rounding off the edges, just attach them onto the sword. Now let's move on to the handle. I use an 1 inch aluminum tube and cut it to this length. Then I cut a few foam straps using epoxy glue and stick onto the aluminum support. I also added some extra foam strap to give it more friction so the aluminum can stay in position. After that, I printed the template from Pepakura and used 3mm for this handle cover. To do this, I recommend connecting all three pieces first, then leave the vertical connections to the last. After that, I just slot the handle in and put some super glue at the end to seal it. Lastly, for the handle tip, cut three pieces out of 1cm foam and cut a 1cm gap at the middle piece. Then stick them on with contact adhesive. At the same time, also add another aluminum tube in it and use the same method with the handle. Add some foam straps to increase the friction. I did not attach this onto the handle yet, and soon you will understand why. 
After sanding the edges of the teeth, I use a 1cm half double foam for both handle ends. Just make a loop and glue them on will do. Now the final step before painting the sword will be using a heat gun. Heat seal the surface of the foam. I turn it to the higher setting to heat all the foam surface. Also, please be aware that heating the same spots for too long will burn the surface. And the heat gun is extremely hot so please be careful during this process. Next, I first prime it with water based pen but you can use your usual method. After that, I pan everything into silver as the best color and then pan the handle with metallic glue. Next will be this long and annoying process. I mask off all the silver parts with masking tape and panel middle with metallic pink. Then I spend another few hours just to mask off the pink. And lastly, we'll be painting all the gold parts. After that, pray to every guard and hope the masking tape doesn't ruin the paint, because it often happens if the paint isn't fully dry. Once I make sure everything is good, I then attach the handle tape on with epoxy glue. And last but not least, adding shades at all the corners. Also, not to forget about this final piece, I scrap off the pen to enhance the adhesions and use epoxy glue to attach the jewel. The jewel is 3D printed on the SLA printer and painted with clear and metallic blue. And then it is done.